What's up everybody, thanks for watching this video. As you could tell from the title, this is uh, some of the top uh, up and coming hunting channels on YouTube that I've seen and that I like to watch. So uh, just give it a watch and I've got some of their footage and exactly who they are, what their name is and what their channel is. So I'm sure you're gonna like it. Go ahead and uh, go check those guys out. Give them likes and subscribes and follow their channels as well. So I'm gonna let it roll and uh, it'll explain itself. size of the body on this thing. Eye guards on them. Nice long main beams. I shot this buck last night around 6.30 and I, I rushed the shot. I was already on edge because he was big. Plus I shot this buck last year and uh, the pressure was a little more than what I'm used to, but uh, I made a bad shot and uh, hit, him, hit him in the liver. We gave him some time, looked last night, couldn't find him, and when we found the blood where he bedded, we found a bedded spot, and we backed out, came back this morning, had Mr. McMullen here with us, and he, he brought his awesome dog, Molly, and we came in here and got on the track. It wasn't an ideal situation, but I finally closed the chapter on this buck, and I, I couldn't be more couldn't be more happy. I just appreciate everybody who's been helping me out with this. this deer walk in I could not believe it and I got the camera on got him and I was worried I didn't know how good my shot was but I hit him perfect I mean he died right where right where you saw him fall over there he was he was done so I'm super excited especially for a public land buck I came up here and got lucky and was able to harvest one of the nicest bucks I've ever killed and for sure the only one I've ever killed with drop time especially double double drop time so second biggest buck ever, if not my biggest. 
absolutely giant brow tines, biggest brow tines I've ever seen on a deer. Big split brow tine over here, big probably 11, maybe 12 inch brow tine on this side. Giant. Uh, you know, this is state number two of my three state trip. And you know, on the first video, you know, I tried to encourage, you know, younger guys, you know, like myself that's single, uh, you know, might have a girlfriend, might not, but to get out and do something like this. Here's my buck. We finally found him this morning. Gave him plenty of time. You know, it was uh, one of those tough deals where the shot's not exactly what you want it to be, but when he ran out there and fell over, I thought it was a great shot, but turns out it was uh, a little back and a little low, but so glad to get this one right here, and uh, proud to get my first buck on my recurve. It's my seventh deer with a recurve and my uh, first, first buck with a recurve, so tell you what, if you had not tried nothing with uh, traditional archer equipment, you need to try it. Get you one and get out there and get to shooting. It's a lot of fun. I can't tell you how fun it is to, to shoot one with traditional archer equipment. So, anyway, I hear the four wheeler coming. We're going to get this deer, get him out of here, and uh, get loaded up and hang tight, and we'll do it again next time. Appreciate you watching. could have worked out any better he did kind of come up on me really quick though wasn't really expecting it to the channel guys this is my very first video here at the Taj Mahal in my backyard 
and today I am going to be covering a newly released product within the month from Backwoods Mobile Gear. This giant bird, beautiful, I'm saying, Mark's saying an inch and a quarter spurs, I'm saying right about an inch and a half, kicker is, this is my first double bearded gobbler, not sure if you guys will be able to see that, we'll get some close ups of it. Smoked a giant. Just smoked a stinking giant. Oh my goodness. I shot him right there at about probably 10 yards. I had a doe come over. I was praying. I was like, God, please let me pick the right tree. Man, I almost set up over there. My wind is blowing that way. That ball came perfect right up this ridge here. And I mean, I smoked him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh good gracious. All right, here he is. He's a uh, freak buck. He's got seven here on his left. He's got five on his right. He's really tight, but uh, you know, he's got some real cool tine length, beam length. Uh, you know, he came in and did exactly what he was supposed to. Came in, gave me a 10 yard shot and hit him perfect right where you want to. He ended up running down this draw. He went about 200 yards, but here he is. Thanks for watching y'all. If you made it all the way through this far, thank you very much for watching the whole video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and the subscribe button for my channel, Hunting the Missouri. I really appreciate y'all. And uh, like I said, go give those guys likes and subscribes as well. So God bless y'all and have a uh, good up and coming hunting season. So hope this will keep you busy watching them until the time gets here. So y'all have a good one. Thanks.